I'm gonna be real honest with you guys. When I first saw like the first like gameplay of um, Tower of Adventures and you know the whole concept behind it, I thought the game was just gonna be mid. I genuinely thought this game was just not gonna be that good because like the map level didn't really impress me. The new the design for like the new characters didn't really hit for me either. And like this being like their their biggest their like their first like step into like full on multiplayer with 3D models, I did not think this game was gonna go well. But oh my god, I am so wrong. Dude, this game is so much fun. This game was a very present and welcome surprise. I did not expect this game to be so good. But it is. Oh my god, it is so much fun. Let me let me go into detail on why. Let me just get I straight really, to the point with the first reason. Really and that is the multiplayer. Let me get straight into the point with, with the first reason why this game is so good. And that is the multiplayer aspect. I did not expect them to like use this aspect really well in this game but they really did i thought the multiplayer aspect was just gonna be like a free-for-all arena or something like that and then like and then like in story mode and every other mode you have to do it alone but no most of this game you can have your friends with you which is great because like it allows you to play the game in so many ways you can just goof around with your friends or have your friend carry you through the story to just you know speed run right through it or just replay or or you can just together um uh, re, um uh, re-explore like other levels and like find all the secrets together and that is just so much fun and it's especially really fun in raid mode so let me explain so raid mode is essentially you just fight bosses and you get like really good equipment and you fight bosses with like either your friends or random people online the reason why this is really good is that like everyone gets a chance to win like yeah some some get like more like a, a rare stuff than others but i think that's more like luck based or something. I don't know how that system works, but still, I just really like the fact that like you can go there as a team and you all get rewarded equally. And again, it's just, it's just fun. It's not grindy. It doesn't feel really grindy. Well, it is grindy, but it doesn't feel really grindy because at least you're doing it with other people. It is, and honestly, it being multiplayer, like in story and in this mode, just alleviates the pain of having to grind everything alone. Because at least you're with someone, and when you're with someone, things can go a lot quicker, a lot smoother, and a lot easier. This game is just unironically a good game to just uh, call to, to to just play while calling a friend and just goofing around. Like genuinely, it is such a good game to play with others. All right, let's move on to like the second reason as to why this game is just really good for me, and that is the level design. I really like how they approach different stages in the game because like instead of just like you know mindlessly just going to a level and just passing it like nothing you actually have to think you actually have to put your brain each level has like each each level has like a a, a mission you gotta complete to you know get all your get all your stars or a secret or a secret little room secret stuff where you can get bonuses and such and honestly that is just so good because not only not not only does like it make the game you know actually engaging and like not boring but it also but it also one doesn't make it repetitive and two it allows for a lot of replayability and honestly that's really good cuz here's the thing as much as i love cookie run kingdom it is a bit of a bore to play through because once you get like a good team to just uh, steamroll everything over just you just put everything on auto and just do something else while your team does the rest here i can actually you know play the game and actually like enjoy and think of what i have to do it's just it's just really fun and that's honestly i'm really glad they went with this approach it also in comparison to cookie run is a much better challenge because in cookie run you have to think more strategically here it's based more on the skill and such, and honestly, I appreciate that more because uh, I'm not I am not that good with like st strategy games like Cookie Run. I I rather I I rather use my my gaming skills instead of uh, uh thinking. And now the third reason why this game is just unironically really good is for this little shop right here. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to be praising this shop much, but honestly, this is genuinely 
a really good and rewarding mechanic they added to the game. So, how this little shop works is that essentially, um, on each level, you can find a hidden jelly, be jelly bears, and the more jelly bears you collect, the more you can trade them in and get, like, essential things for the game. And here's the thing, the reason why this is really good is that, like, it's it, it kind of ends up being more rewarding than what the game actually gives you. And, like, it just encourages you to actually, you know, try the level and, like, and like um, do better and such. So you can also, you can be rewarded more for your efforts. And I really like that. What I'm saying is, this little shop right here is a really good alternative for, like, getting resources you need for upgrading and that stuff. Like, unironically, it is one of the best. Now, let's move on to the aspects that bother me from the game. The first aspect that just bothers me is the loading for tickets, essentially. Not the tickets for gotcha. I wish they would they would load automatically. That would have been great, but no, no, no. Um, I'm talking more so about the tickets for raid and for, for raid. Those take... <laughs> was <laughs> so long to like re so long to like refill like i i get it and they're trying to like make it like a daily thing but i re i think it, but i think it would be much better if that was reduced so people can you know be able to like um gather materials and that stuff easier speaking of materials another uh well a little a little uh negative element of this game is that it's very hard to grind for gotcha or at least i found it very hard to grind for gotcha i even bought a packet and it's still <laughs> It's still not enough good for gotcha. But then again, those 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 might be my gotcha spending habits. But still, I still find that it's like it's kind of like pretty. Uh, trying to grind for gotcha is like pretty limiting because it's pretty rare to like get like a uh, to get like uh, resources for gotcha. And even though you can get them with levels and that stuff, you have to like some sometimes it's gonna take you to um it's gonna take you a long time to like. You know, try to get everything right to be to be able to get like a reasonable amount of uh, golden ticks and that stuff. As for, as for as for gems, I don't think that that's too much of a problem. But like, it's still a more a more tedious process than trying to get for um than trying to grind for anything else. And now my last problem with this game is not a mechanic one, but more so a um. A depiction one. So there's this boss on the last level called Shamonkey. And um, the problem with Shamonkey is that um, they made some uh, very uh, distasteful de de decisions with this the character. Firstly, in the description of this boss, it says that this boss practices voodoo. A reason why that's a problem is that voodoo is a very secret religion that has very close ties with African roots. And the fact that this guy is a monkey too... Yeah... No, it's, uh, ew, it is not a good choice at all. It just comes on and as very disrespectful and, frankly, racist. Again, just kind of, like, it just gives off the depiction that you're just, like, uh, th that you're just, like, depicting this African culture as being, uh, quote-unquote, barbaric. And a fortunate thing that's happened many times in media. And that's why it's important to call it out, because uh, it's, uh, it's wrong. It just, it's wrong. Also, to add more salt to the injury, they also have Native American costume. A Native American set. Let me repeat myself. Uh, a reason why this isn't good, because, okay, so. Pretend you have, like, an important piece of clothing in your religion, and uh, in your religion slash culture. And this is something that, you know, you just, you just don't wear around willy-nilly. Now pretend someone takes that and wears it as a costume, as if it's just a costume like every day. Yeah, no, that, uh, that's very disrespectful. Now, I point these two things out because it is very important that if you want to take aspects from other cultures, it is very important to do it respectfully. So, uh, again, very, very important to call this out, criticize it, and, you know. And also, let me make it clear, just because there's something bad or wrong in the game doesn't mean you can't just enjoy the game anymore. Again, I really enjoy this game, but since I enjoy this game and I wanted to, you know, improve for the better, I'm calling this out because, you know, it's important. And, you know, um, I think I would like my game without any racist aspects, please. <laughs> now, with that said, let me just go to the conclusion. In conclusion, I think this game really good. It has a lot of potential. I really hope it does not fall into like the pay to win um the pay to win hell that Cookie Run Kingdom is in right now. It is a really good game with great potential, great full multiplayer, and really fun. Each level is designed really well, very playable. Again, just, 
And overall, it's just very enjoyable. I just really wish they could improve on some aspects, especially once again on the cultural on the cultural aspects with Shamonki and the the Native American outfit fit. Like the best they can do is replace that whole fit and maybe remove Shamonki with the Bulu and just invent your own type of magic. That is just my that is my um suggestion solution, but yeah. I really hope this game improves for the better, and I really hope they can climb higher from here. Cause like, again, I really enjoy this game, and um, yeah. But tell me what you think. Do you agree with my points? Do you have? Do you want something to add? Um, tell me all about it in the comments below. And um, oh, oh, an important thing before I go. If you wanna um directly contact um Death Sisters about again the 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 um, the racist cultural aspects. Um, it, the best way to contact them about it is by leaving a negative review on the game, um, putting uh putting it in their feed in their feedback on in their feedback auction on Discord or personally messaging messaging them on email. Those are the best ways to like directly um send your criticism to them. And um, yeah, I will be going now. Um, I hope you all like this little review. Bye. <laughs> Pokemon,